parlour and shed, um, £115,000, um, I suppose that was spent really in year three. Um, the, the thing to point out there is that struggled through for two years with, with I suppose, older facilities, you know. Um, and I suppose for, for young farmers getting in, like you, you could argue, I still done that too soon. I could have struggled another few years. Um, I suppose the big thing for young farmers getting in, I know it's tough for me going to farm walks and, and stuff like that. You're going into yards that have span new parlours, new tractors, new jeeps, new sheds. You have to understand that I suppose they're at it for 40 years or 30 years, you know. So it's, it's all right for us to, to have facilities that are lower and you have to just struggle with them. Um, but I suppose if, if I swap to 145,000, uh, it should require another 100,000. Um, but I suppose it's, it's three grand a cow. Um, and it kind of really, I suppose, comes back up here, 23 cent a litre. Um, am I efficient enough to go up to it first, you know? Um, like there's probably, that's 23 cent a litre, but there's another two cent a litre coming into it in depreciation this year. Um, because of the sheds, you know, so I have to find that two centiliters somewhere else, and you're getting 26 centiliter, 27 centiliter of a milk price. Um, I think the other mistake, well, not so much mistake, but thing you have to be very aware of is that that's 23 centiliter, but that's not actually my break even cost. So you'd add back depreciation, but you also have to remember that doesn't include principal repayments, tax, or your own personal drawings. So that's something to be very wary of and something that's you're going out thinking your cost production is 23 cents a litre. It's not the case, you know. Um, so I suppose, um, look, at, it's it's basically, do I take the jump, you know, 145 cows or not? It's, it's, it's all good and well, but um, I've no doubt there's, there's, I could, I, I, there's a lot more money to be made here in terms of efficiency, you know. Um, just down here, I suppose, like solids, like I suppose, look at the Achilles heel of this farm, I think is probably genetics. And, um, something that we're, you know, breeding for and, and, and taking other steps to, to fix it. You like, uh, milk quota was a big thing here as well, so days in milk is something that I think needs to be improved on. Um, and as well as that, like, suppose if you are to go up in, in cow numbers, the whole thing is, is organisation, like, you know, and it's 100 cows there, 91. And um, if I was properly organised, I'd probably work less hours with 120 cows, you know. So organisation is, is key to it all as well.